Trip Wellborn came to Michigan, he started his career as a wide receiver, and as a true freshman, he saw action. But as a sophomore, this promising wideout was switched to defense. He's been a mainstay in the secondary ever since. As a matter of fact, he's an All-American as a safety, but he won't take the credit. Individual success is an overflow from the team success. That's the way I always see it. So I like if you go out and you play hard and you help the team to win and do things to ask for the team to win, and uh, you know if things come your way, then it's good because uh, it's basically showing that your team has accomplished a whole lot. While Tripp has certainly flourished as a defensive back, he still dreams about the glory of offensive fireworks. But I just want to kind of hear, wanted to hear Keith Jackson say, uh, I think he might go all the way or something <laughs> like that. Or maybe Chris Berman or ESPN. He might go all the way. Yeah, something like that and put the hands in there and sit the ball down and just, you know, that instant rush of making a big play, scoring a touchdown. But uh, I, I don't have any regrets because I've enjoyed what I've done and uh, I've enjoyed the team's success. And, I'm, I'm glad because of that. The only problem with this dream is that Keith Jackson hasn't got Tripp's last name perfected yet. There he goes. And he did not make it. Tripp Wellburn is the man that stuffed him. And he's a living legend, and however he wants to pronounce it, I guess it's fine. But uh, it is true. I've been here for four years, and it's still Wellburn. Huh? It's not well-born like it's pronounced. But that's OK. That's OK. I love Keith, and uh, he keeps it going. He keeps it going back there, and I enjoy that a lot. As you can see, Trip Wellborn is an easy guy to like. And a lot of the personality and values that he displays are the direct influence of a wonderful set of parents. They have made the sacrifice to drive up and see Trip play all the way from North Carolina better than 30 times in Trip's career. There isn't much doubt what a family affair his career is. Whatever he does here, he's not just an extension of Michigan, but he's also an extension of his family and his relatives. And that's why he should always be committed. One thing that we have instilled in Tripp is to, whatever you do, do your best. And I think that's the step that he has taken. We've tried to support him in everything that he does here. And that means that we like for Michigan coaches to coach him and be the kinds of uh, disciplinaries that's necessary. But we still try to be the parents that we should be to provide that other kind of support uh, to make him a complete player. You know, they need the football field, but they also need things off the field, and we've tried to do that. It's one thing about, you know, your mom is sitting up there, you make a great play, your mom looks up. She doesn't see a lot of them, because every time something happens, she puts her hand up. <laughs> and then she hears the crowd, she says, what happened? <laughs> Starts clapping, but uh, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where she, you make a bad play, she's like, that's my boy. Make a good play. That's my boy. It doesn't even matter what you do. You're still a boy. And after the game, you know, I'm a son. I'm a dad. My dad's son. Uh, go on, and it can help you uh, through the times that you need. And it's just a close knit family. And and I'm glad it's, it's been that way. It was a real disappointment. Uh, Tripp's such a great kid and a fun kid to see him uh, injured in the game against Minnesota. The extent of the injury at this point, Coach. Well, Jim, well, we know one thing. He will not play, obviously, against Ohio State. And, uh, well, they'll re-examine the knee on Monday uh, uh, under a arthroscopic surgery, so we'll have to see what happens. But I want to say one thing about Tripp. you got to understand there's an example of an excellent student athlete who is an All-American, and he's an All-American in a lot of ways. Yeah, and, and he's playing his best football of his life the last three or four weeks. I think Tripp, at the beginning of the season, tried to do so much uh, to make so many things happen. He has really settled in these last four or five weeks, and he's playing like Tripp Walborn, a true All-American. And as you know, this week he and Dean Dingman were picked on a Kodak All-American team, and we're very pleased with that. And you know we're going to miss Tripp Walborn.